Hi everyone and welcome back to another Efteling vlog. Hello. So it's our second full day. We're yes. about to head down for breakfast. Martin's already been for a run. Yeah, I got up at seven o'clock and I went for a bit of a run. So before you see us at breakfast, I thought I'd include my little montage of me running. No. Right, I've made it up. <laughs> and I'm gonna do a run. Let's hope I don't get lost. Do a five minute warm up walk. And then I might, just because I'm tight for time, might just do 20 minutes. Oh, what a way to start the playlist. It's Huey Lewis and the news, the power of love. And... I met you who how do. Had a nice little chat. He was pleased that I knew who he was. Sweet. We got different pastries. Mm. We've got bread. Gonna have to do a scour first. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what are they? Biscuit type things. Got some meats, some cheese. So it's a buffet. We got some cereal, fruit. Got all these different egg holders, egg cup holders. You can get a hard boiled egg, get bacon, get scrambled egg. Yeah. Chocolate milk, semi skim milk, fruit yogurt drink, chocolate rolls, donuts, mini Kaiser roll. So for round one, I picked up a little mini pan of chocolate. I've got some spreads, and then this is called a Kaiser roll. They have big ones and mini ones, so I picked up a mini one. And then I picked up some fruit as well. And Martin's gone for croissant, eggs, and bacon. <laughs> well, I've got a granola pot and then a cappuccino. So we picked up a map on the way out yesterday because we find it's easier to get about than looking at our phone. And you can see that each area is split into different lands. Oh, this is a new ride that I'm going to tell you a bit more about later. And then this is the area that we're going to try and get to today, which we didn't actually find yesterday. I know, it's only brand new. <laughs> I think we went everywhere else. We did. We got a children's area in the restaurant and sit and watch the screen. You who how do? Do you want to discover Mr. Sandman's sandcastle from the inside? Download the free app Mr. Sandman's Quest. Select Discover Sandcastle. Move your phone slowly over the painting and you can find six secrets. Oh wow. And that's the painting. So we are heading to the park. I think it is about 20 past nine. So we are on time. Yeah, I can't believe this for I once. Know. Normally <laughs> We struggle with the early mornings. Yeah. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I showed you a little bit of that game. So yeah, download that app, uh, the Mr. San, uh, the Mr. Sandman app, and I think there's different things you can do around Bozrak village as well um, with it but that was cool when you held it over the picture and things came to life there's so much for children to keep them entertained but i was just saying to martin it's a very like relaxing environment that's it mr sandman's quest so there's two options help mr sandman look for sand throughout the holiday village or you can just in the player corner of the restaurant you can see inside mr sandman's sand castle so as we're staying in the hotel, we get to go in this resort's entrance for the half an hour before the park opens. Oh, look, there's all those floating vinyls. They're taunting me. We've been letting two minutes early. I am actually tempted by the vinyl. 
I'm tempted. Because the music is so... You were actually listening to the music last night. Yeah, I had a bath and I listened to <laughs> Dream Blocked on repeat. I'm not kidding, about 10 <laughs> yeah, times. I, it was so relaxing. I was like, how long is that track? So we are in the park as we were heading. Um, lovely Gino stopped us for a chat. Thank yeah. you so much. It was so lovely to meet you. And you were actually working here today. Yeah, you said you watched the videos. I, I think you started watching from when we were in with Katie and Dean, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. But a huge thank you for stopping us. It's so lovely to meet like people, especially here, because we've had so many messages from people that live here or used to visit this park a lot when they were younger, people that work here. Yeah. And it's just so lovely to be able to like meet you yeah. um, because I know a lot of you have watched the channel for a long time, so it's really special. But yeah, huge thank you, Gino. <laughs> it is so quiet. I know. We had the park to ourselves. <laughs> so we remembered walking this way yesterday and then we pointed to the greenery this way and we mm -hmm. saw a bridge. So we think if we go over that bridge, it'll take us to uh, Yoris and the Dragon. Yes. After the water ride. I think it takes you straight to the, the yeah, raft ride first. I here when it's quiet as well. I mm. feel like it's just going to be us. <laughs> we realise we may be going the long way around because Yes, we haven't got our can, bearings fully. You can go that way. <laughs> but we saw this walkway the other day and we just kind of wanted to explore it. Yeah. Yeah, I've noticed everyone's going that way and nobody's coming this way. <laughs> Do they know something we don't? <laughs> Over the bridge we go. Let's see where it leads. There's the wooden coaster. I can hear it. Boy, we've got to face the dragon. We've got on a little explore this morning. I know, we? it's good. <laughs> We're not sure if Baron's going to be open today, actually. No. Gino said it was closed today. We're not sure if um, they meant in the morning or the whole, right, day. The whole day. So we'll check We'll wait out. and see, because I know a few of the rides open uh, after 10. <gasps> Dean is going! Oh! Test. Here it is! Hey, that's not Baron, that's him. Um, this is Yoris. That's I love, love a wooden coaster. So here it is, this that is, is Baron. Amazing. Well, fingers crossed for tomorrow, maybe. Baron 1898 is well, the full title. You know what, even if it's not open, that just gives us another reason to come back. <laughs> So this is the first time we've been in this area. Really, really nice. Um, the wooden coaster is still heating up. <laughs> um, so we are gonna head on to Python. This is a pretty big roller coaster. It's got a couple of loops and yeah, it looks really, really fun. Martin is, he's thinking about it. He's Python. thinking about it. Escape the stranglehold of Python. <laughs> This is for all you lovers of roller coasters out there. This is like an epic roller coaster. Oh, it's just coming around. I can get it. So look who is with me. Yay, he's coming on. I'm so proud. Well done. <laughs> also, there is no one queuing, so you have no time I know, I to know. think. <laughs> no Which time. Which is good. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Yay, 
proud of you. I did it. I enjoyed it. I, I did knew it. You would. I enjoyed it. <laughs> Martin's had a couple of months, I'd say, where you kind of like lost your confidence, uh, confidence a bit. in yeah. roller coasters. But I always knew how much you loved them. Yeah. And like, did you enjoy it? I really enjoyed it. It was so smooth, it wasn't was it? Smooth. It Look. was like quite like um this relaxing is the wrong word because it is very thrilling. <laughs> like you do you do like you two, do two or three loops. You do two loops and then I think you do, cork are they called corkscrews? You do so. two of those. Um, but they're quite smooth. Yeah. And they're actually quite like uh, long. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really good. Really good really ride. Really fun road <laughs> We're thinking about doing the ride that translates as the Flying Dutchman. Next. We're just assessing to see how wet they get. Because <laughs> it's, oh here we go. Not too bad. bad, not too bad, so I think I we'll go on it, but I might put my Mac on. So Captain Willem Kanderdecken set out with his ship looking for wealth and riches. He ordered his crew to sail Easter Sunday, which was forbidden. Everyone on board since then is doomed to sail forever on the seas. But this has been the one that I've really been so excited about, because it's, it's so different. Yeah. Right, let's go do it. <laughs> about to go on a water coaster. <laughs> Bring me sunshine. <laughs> I invested in some waterproof shoes as well. <laughs> You're decked out. You have a rain mac on, waterproof shoes. Yeah. I have nothing. I think this area might be my favourite themed area. I love the ye olde looking buildings. It's like gothic. Yeah. And there's single rider lines as well, which I don't know if we've mentioned. Yes. Um, Currently some of them are closed. I think that's because it's so quiet. The yeah. queue's only um, zero minutes anyway. But yeah, they do have single riders for quite a lot of the roller coasters. Oh no, it's a bit gloomy. Well, I suppose after reading about the evil curse, it makes sense. I'm going to wear the chest mount, but I think a lot of the ride might be in the dark until we come out the other side, so not sure how much we'll capture. Another cracking soundtrack. They're very lucky with the keys today. Yeah. Very lucky. Whoa! That is impressive. Oh, here we go. I don't even as know long what kind as our of, feet don't What kind of coaster it's going to be, but oh no. I actually don't know what's coming at any bit. <laughs>
very quickly before the next one comes round, but that was amazing. That was very cool. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. It was actually quite scary in no, the dark bit at the beginning. The thrill of not knowing what he's going to happen next. I mean, that was brilliant. And it starts off as like a dark ride. And I yeah. mean, when I say dark... Atmospheric. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's dark. If you're scared of the dark, there's your pre-warning. There was even a bit where Hell, though, was like, oh, I'm a bit scared I'm a bit here. I'm nervous. <laughs> I just didn't know what was happening. It was very atmospheric, the way they use, like, mist and noise and it was incredible it really made you feel like Ooh. very immersive and then it turned into a roller coaster and then a water ride yeah it's mean, epic fantastic very, cool. very 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 original <laughs> So I just did a, a pose, I just crouched down, covered my ears because I was about to set the cannon off. But it reminded me, I was once like an extra, I think it's called Combat Ships. I can't remember what series it is, but it talks about uh, galleons. And um, I'm actually in that episode, see if you can spot me, if you can find it. <laughs> so if this is the first Efteling vlog that you've joined us for, uh, we do have some previous vlogs which you can watch as well. But we are actually working in collaboration with Efteling and also Le Shuttle, who helped uh, get us here by gifting us the travel uh, using Le Shuttle. So yeah, massive thank you to Efteling for gifting us the, the park tickets and yeah. also the stay at the amazing Hotel Basra. Yeah, it's been absolutely incredible and also a huge thank you to everyone that watches the channel Yeah. Uh, because without you we wouldn't be able to go on these amazing trips. Yeah, we wouldn't have been invited without yeah. you watching, so thank you. So we are doing Yoris and the Dragon. Can we slay the dragon? I love wooden coasters, yeah. So Helmet's chosen blue, you had to choose red or blue, but then she said that blue... I is... guess it is water or fire. Oh, Alright, water or fire, that's okay. I thought I you meant that we were going to get wet. Well, who knows? <laughs> like winner at the end and all the banners fall down but so that was good. quick i came out of the chair quite a few times yeah you don't go upside down right? um yeah it's really good fun it's a really good wooden roller coaster but yeah it's, it is quick we're just stumbling across things now <laughs> This is like a train station. We've never been here. We weren't here yesterday either. But I think it's a cafe. Huge. This is, huge. This is so cool. It is decked out like a train station. Yeah. Got a monkey there causing trouble. This is for your baggage, for your luggage. Oh, it's a station because the actual the, the train that goes around, the steam train, picks up from here. That makes sense. It does. <laughs> Look at the chandeliers. So there's quite a few places where you can mobile order. So just scan the barcode and then place your order. So as we're here, Helna 
would love to go on the steam train, and so would I. So we're going to wait for it. Look at those faces up there. <laughs> So we're on the train. They depart from the station every 25 minutes. So I think that must ten minutes. Yeah, not too long. So it must be a full like 25 minute going round, and we think we might stay on it all the way around. <laughs> Let's see. Enjoyed our train ride, and we're going to pick up a snack. Cross on some salads. Oh, nice. So after a lovely relaxing uh, train ride, we've picked up a little apple pastry. Mm -hmm. Martin's picked up a coffee, and I've got a Coca-Cola. And we're just going to chill for a little bit and eat this. So we're going to see whether whether we're allowed to get on. Martin wants to go on this. <laughs> the Oud Toffabahn which is slightly like old truck ride and this is a swinging uh, ship but i haven't seen it move today so i don't know whether it's operational but if it is helena would be the one going on that not on me my own. <laughs> no, they make martin a bit sick <laughs> please do honk at the animals these sorts of rides are just like a theme park staple so i feel like we have to do it so the great thing about this and the unique thing that i read is that every truck is individual in terms of like how it's designed so each one has its own like objects in the back and its own number plate i think that's brilliant which one are we gonna get we're gonna get like the fire engine one here it comes, all the lights just came on! <laughs> Here it comes! So yeah, got like firefighting helmet and sand and stuff in the back. Am I the driver? You're gonna go drive a seat. Oh no! We've got a different one. We all we've got this fancy one. Fancy smancy. Oh that's cool. Well, wizards who are learning. <laughs> oh, fab. Now that's quite a unique driving style you've got going on there. <laughs> it's unique that if there could be two drivers, imagine if they both did good same way. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I love this style. Oh, this music. Where would you like to go today, sir? Oh, I love this music. Do you like the music? <laughs> crank that up for you. <laughs> so here we have the old automobile. All oh, right, you give me the grand tour. And then I'm sorry about all the luggage I've got with me. That's okay, not too bad. But I'm, I'm learning uh, wizardry. Wizardry? Yeah, that's what it says on the side. I see. What are you doing? Don't worry, it's a magic car. Ah, oh, that's the right one. <laughs> look at just that. for show. Look at how beautiful these gardens are. Oh, I pushed this button and there was noise. Can you honk? Oh yeah, honk at the animals. <laughs> Quite a long ride, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh no! What's going on with these chickens? <laughs> There's a scarecrow. <laughs> Again, what a tune! I, was, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. I'm gonna have to get this vinyl, you know. I, I, you know what? It's such a unique souvenir. Yeah, I'm really thinking I about think we it. Get it. <laughs> so we're just having a little look at the map because we're gonna head. Oh, Python's there. Pi. Wait, we there. just. Yeah. Wait. We've just come up. That's this. it, that's it, yeah. So we want to head round because we want to get to here. 
where Vogel Rock is. So it's that way then. I think it's up around yeah. here. Also in this area they have loads of like gallery games, so they have like shooting ranges, they have a sweet shop, they have, that looks like a little frog game, um, so yeah basically they're pay to play, um, so style yeah games. carnival style games that's a good way of um, describing them. One euro. And this one is one euro, so they're probably all roughly a similar price. We actually used the pagode to find our bearings. Yeah. So we were trying to get to Carnival and to Vogel Rock and then we saw this and we are like, ah oh, yeah, that's close. <laughs> so the next ride we're gonna go on is this Carnival Festival. So this looks like a colorful adventure with Joker and Jet. Yeah. We're gonna meet some jolly people. Let's have a look. Mostly in the dark, so if you don't, if we just come straight back out and you don't see any footage, that's why. <laughs> So we just came off of a Vogel Rock. Yes. You can see it there in the background. Yeah. Really good fun. No footage, very dark. Very, very dark. <laughs> um, it's just like a fast roller coaster in the dark. Yeah. Really good fun. The bird, I think, is trying to protect its eggs yeah. from us because we're flying around as well. It's very dark, but then there are a few little bits that they've put in where yeah. like, the light flashes. There's one thing that scared you. There's one thing that scares me. <laughs> um, skip ahead because it's a little bit of a spoiler, but you go through the mouth of the bird and um, that scared me. It came out of nowhere. Although, <laughs> Very I'd, clever. I'd have to go on again because I didn't pick that out. Yeah. Uh, but you did, so yeah, I'd have to look out for that. It's really time. good. But now we're going to head on Sirocco. Sirocco. What um, is it? It's like boats um, around in a circle, I believe. What have I written down? Yeah, rotating merchant boats. Rotating we're on the stormy seas. Boats. So we're going to do that and then we're going to get some food. Actually, just here, it's a place called Cash Bar. Um, and I believe it's one of their newer restaurants, so we're going to check that out as well. Here we go, so we are following in the footsteps of Sinbad the Sailor, and then at the beginning there was a book telling you the story of Sinbad. Quite intense. I was just expecting it. 
I've been quite tame. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we went on that before lunch. <laughs> it was good that fun. That was intense. If it came out well on the camera, we'll just insert that bit in slow motion of me nearly falling out of it. <laughs> Oh, no, I feel great. like when you go in those things as a two, there's not loads of people to like catch no. you. Yeah. So like you fly around a lot more. Yeah. There was no chance of helmet fall out. No, of course, of course, of course. But, I, but <laughs> also because I was heroic. <laughs> <laughs> but now we're gonna head in to Cash Bar. So this is a new restaurant. I'm not sure um, how new, uh, but on the map it has new next to it. Yeah. And oh. Ooh, you can't reserve for this place on the app. Ooh. So I think it's just kind of you walk in and we'll see sort of what the deal is. Oh wow, it looks very nice. I like the theming already. Wow. It fits in with the area perfectly. Oh, really nice, it smells good. Oh, it looks like kind oh. of like you walk round and choose. Oh, grab a tray. Oh, I love this. So you can actually walk round and choose what you want. Chicken breast, mushroom, spinach, walnuts, and some kind of sauce. Everything. <laughs> and then we also picked up a fruit pot and this green smoothie. But I just think that looks beautiful, like the colours and everything. Like you wouldn't think this is theme park food. They had absolutely everything. I think I showed a little montage, but they have pizza, pasta, soups, grill, breads, pitters, salads, um, everything. They had some cakes such a wide variety so something for everyone and yeah I am really impressed okay so we are up here at the Kashbar restaurant food has been amazing would highly recommend and we are gonna make our way next to the fairy tale forest so that's down here but I did want to bring up this that I mentioned a little bit earlier today dance macabre which is gonna be a new ride in 2024 and it's taken the place of um, Spook Slot Haunted House, which closed in 2022. And it's going to be surrounded by an entire themed area, which will become the creepiest part of Efteling. Ooh, so that would really be good to come back and check out. And the ride itself will be using the first technology of its kind. That sounds exciting. There is a QR code on the back of the map that I am actually going to scan because it says follow all developments. So I scanned the QR code. A haunted spectacle full of dark twists will open a chilling new themed area with an attraction that will scare you like never before. <laughs> <laughs> Alongside a new attraction, the themed area will include catering, a souvenir shop, and a fitting environment. Oh, they've got videos. So like episode two, the making of, uh, you've got the designer talking about uh, the forest that's going to surround it. Oh wow, if you're really into like behind the scenes and checking up like how it's all going, definitely scan that QR code. So that food was lovely. Yeah. Really, really liked it. 
loved it. Really, really nice. Very impressed by like how much they had on offer. Mm. Yeah, I recommend it if you're coming in a large group. There's lots of places to sit. You can sit outside as well. So I think we're gonna leave this vlog here. But before we go, we just want to say a huge thank you to Catalina and Ben who stopped us earlier before this morning to say hello. It was yeah. so lovely to meet you both. It was as we came off the uh, wooden coaster. Yes, yeah, it we was. had we had a good old natter, good I old chat. I think you said you spotted our photo. Um, oh yeah, on the ride photos. Like the ride photos, and then waited for us. So yeah. thank you so much. Like we've loved meeting people out here. I think we said actually earlier in this vlog. Um, but yeah, it's been really special. So on that note, we'll leave this vlog here, and we will see you in the next one. Yes, if you like this video, hit the like button and also subscribe. See you soon. Bye. Toodle pipsky.